Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use set priority action, which is a part of work QV view. We are going to take one example. I have added these items to queue where we have a customer account number, product code, quantity, unit price and priority order. So the use of this set priority is set the priority to the existing queue items. So if you have items added to the queue, then we can change that priority because whenever you will add items to queue, automatically it will have priority zero. That will be high priority. So if you want to change the priority, let's say you have high and you want to change the priority to low priority or if you have a low priority and you want to change that to, to medium priority. So you can do that using set priority. I am going to show you in this video. So please watch this video till the end. And in this video, our example will be, our scenario will be, get the data from queue, check the item exists in queue or not, that item ID available or not. If yes, so check that our quantity is less than 10, then do not process that. Just change the that item priority to low and then defer that item and then pick next item. If it is greater than 10, then process that item. So this is our example. So let me show you here. So we have this queue items here. We have 15 queue items. Now here first we'll take here action stage and then select work queue and then take here get next item. So get next item. We'll pass here queue name. So queue name we are going to take it from environment this one. So that will be a centric data solution underscore queue. And now from the outputs we can store this item id so we can take in a new item id right now create this so this has been created here now we can also store this data queue collection so we'll write here data queue collection and store this here now we have this data so this is queue collection and this is data item now first We'll get the item from queue and then after that we'll check that we have item available in this data item stage or not so we'll take this decision stage here and then we'll see here item available or not the name will be this stage is got item so here in the expression we'll take this item id new item id if not equal to blank it means we have got the item so if got item so what we need to do we are going to process next if no then what so we'll take here got item to end so it will show that okay no data no problem just go to end now if we have item id available so first we are going to again check here one decision that will check that our item should not be less than 10 if we have less than 10 so set the priority to low and then pick next item so here what we are going to do we are going to put here quantity less than 10 so what expression we need to enter here we need to enter here the data queue collection dot our field name that column name so this is quantity so put here dot and then this one now we are going to compare here if this is less than 10 now here you can see we are going to compare we are going to validate here with the less than 10 so 10 is the number and this is a text so first we need to convert that if you'll click here evaluate expression so it says that cannot compare unknown so first we need to convert this to number so we need to write to number so this function two number function or expression is used to convert this number this text to number now evaluate this so currently it says that object reference not set so no problem it will on the runtime it will have data and then it will able to uh, check that so expression is valid now now click ok so now let me close this one now it will check if less than 10 so yes so what we are going to do if less than 10 then we'll take here one action stage and then double click on this 
select your work use and then we are going to use set priority so here you can see we have set priority and the set priority first we have to enter the priority so zero high priority one medium priority and two is the low low priority so i'm going to set here two so by default we have if you see here in the queue by default we have zero priority it means high priority now if we have any item where the quantity is less than 10 so we are going to set is to 2 that is low priority so that we can process it later now put here that item id so this is the new item id now click ok so after changing the priority what i want to do i want to defer that item because i don't want to process this item today i want to process after some time right because this is the low priority and currently i don't want to process if i want to process later so do not do not defer also what we can do just set the priority and unlock the item because if you will not unlock so this item will not be processed the next time because that will be set as a either exception at the cleanup level so what we can do we can after setting the priority we can defer that item to any specific until any dead time so what we can do we need to take here one action stage double click select here work queues and select here defer now here we need to enter that item id so i want to apply defer to this item id and what will be the date time so until dead time so i want to defer this item until uh, 8 so 08 hyphen 05 so 8th may 2022 and then we need to pass time because it will accept date time so space i'm going to say that okay 10 m 30 minutes 05 seconds so this will be date time format or what you can do you can create a data item here you can create a, a data type date times here and then you can put here so currently i'm putting here uh, default here now click ok now what i'm going to do take here if less than so yes set priority this and defer and then get next item again and then do like this now if got item yes so check here if no and this so if you if you don't have any item to process so go to end now if i quantity is not less than 10 so what then we need to do take a action stage and take work huge and select here update status so that status will say that uh, completed so let me first put here this new item id and then i want to say that okay completed this item completed now click ok click ok and then I want to take one more action stage and now that will be used to mark this item as a completed so select work huge and here from the action select mark completed and item id will be this new item id now link this if no so link link here now just uh, verify here just uh, review one, one one more time here that is start get next item if we have item so go and check the quantity less than 10 yes so set the priority to 2 and then defer this item and then pick next item now pick next item got item yes if less than uh, this is not less than 10 so just process that as it is like as a successfully uh, process so go and update the status as a completed mark completed and then pick next item if we don't have any data so just go to end now refresh that set next stage let me increase the debug speed now just step over now we have item id this is and our quantity is first time here that is three it means this is less than three so it will go left side here the set priority got item yes now yes now what we can do let me show you in the queue which item is 
logged for processing so item is 125 abc-125 is locked for processing and the by default the priority is 0 that is high priority now using this set priority it will change the priority from 0 to 2 let me step over and let me refresh that now this is priority 2 right now I want to unlock this so I have used defer so here you, you will see here in the text view let me move further so now refresh this and now you can see here in abc125 now we have date that is 85 2022 and 33005 so we had like uh, 10 30 and 05 but by default i think it has taken based on the utc it has taken uh, a time a different time so 0335 but date is 85 right so it will be processed today later go to this defer and let me now put here 9 9 and now next time it will change the next review date to 9 now let me run this so yes now this time what will happen you can see the next item is picked up this is 127 and let me go back sorry let me uh, move further and refresh that refresh that so 127 now the next review date is 95 so this item these two items we have set to 2 now just uh, run this so let me run this okay so all data completed now let me refresh this and you can see here we have 2 to 4 to 6 1 7 7 items we have that was uh, item quantity was less than 10 and these item completed successfully because item quantity was greater than 10 right or 10 so i hope this is useful so i hope you like this video if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn ui path rpa then you can visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash ui path rpa if you want to learn blue prism from udemy so i have created one course for blue prism rpa complete course on udemy so you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there i will enter the the referral code and the link in the video description you can go through that i hope you like that one